Get ready to grab a hot cup of tea and get lost in a story with the Book Nook Kit. We're going to look at what it brings so that you can figure out if it's right for you. As a build and buy kit, it of course focuses on objects. Starting with build mode, you get a new wallpaper. It's giving log cabin and I'm a fan, but that's also all it's giving as it's the only build mode object from this kit. Buy mode is where it shines. And the biggest draw card here is a wide range of modular bookcases and shelves. Similar to the wardrobes from Dream Home Decorator, these will click together, allowing you to make large and extremely customizable bookcases. Some of these function as shelves, others as bookcases, and there's even a mixture of dark and light swatches, which even allows for a kind of rainbow style bookcase that I really do love. Just in time for Pride Month, why not? Maybe it's greedy of me to say, but I do kind of wish that there were even more swatches. And also I do need to flag that the modular bookshelves are a little bit buggy. For example, when I moved the sim into a house that had them, a small chunk of the shelves just disappeared from the wall and went into my sim's household inventory. Which, you know, isn't really what we want to happen. It's not the magic show that I signed up for. In total, there are seven different types of shelves and bookcases that can make up the modular unit, but there is even a love seat that seamlessly links with them as well. It's a rather nice love seat, but if it wasn't your style, then also know that the kit also brings with it a three-seater sofa as well as a one-seater armchair, and both of these give very snuggly and cozy vibes. As you might expect, they are perfect for grabbing a book and plonking yourself down to read, but I do wish that there were some more colourful swatches. We also have some shelves and surfaces, and the stack of books surface might be my favourite one ever. This pile of books can be stacked with itself all the way up to the ceiling, meaning it allows for you to create lots of piles of messy books. It's awesome for studies, libraries, or even just a stack of books within a bedroom too. On top of this, you can also pop various things atop the book stack, giving it lots of flexibility and really making it such a fun object to decorate with. There's also a very small wall shelf too that looks like a small stack of books. It's very cute, but you'll also be a little bit limited in the kinds of objects you can put on it. There's a new coffee table and a new end table as well, and while they do have books worked into their design, know that they don't function as bookshelves. Also, once again, more swatches would definitely have been appreciated here. Then there's three new lights. Two of these, being a lamp and a larger standing floor lamp, both match and look very cute together. A third is a very dim candle. It's questionable if you can call this a light or more so a decoration, but we'll go with light. In addition to all the modular shelves, you also have a small bookend style shelf that is rather cute. It's nothing that we don't already have, but I do enjoy it. This kit also gives us a rug, which admittedly is my least favorite part of the kit simply because I feel that the colour options are so limited and a little bit bland. Just give me a pink swatch and I would have been sold, you know? Finally, there's a range of decorative trinkets. There's a kind of book house, very strange, but also kind of cute. I'm a fan. Do I know what it is? No, not really, but I'll go with a book house and I'll give it a B+. There's also a decorative book tray that really tells the story of sitting down with a cup of tea and settling in to read. Then there are two metal trays with a bunch of books inside, and in one case, even a small plant. The one that just has books inside can also have things placed onto it too, which is a nice touch. Finally, we have some wall art. And from what I can tell, some of the more colorful swatches match some of the book covers. So it's like turning book covers into art, which I think is a really great tie-in and it certainly makes them fit in so well with a lot of the other decor from the kit. Now here's how it all looks in one room, with the caveat that some of the lights, as well as the windows, curtains, and flooring, as well as a tiny bit of clutter, are not from the kit. As you likely noticed, I split this room down the middle, one with a much more cozy and darker aesthetic, and the other I made to have a much lighter and brighter feel, just to show some of the different styling directions that you can take with this. The Sims team also provide a pre-made room that you can plonk down in literally seconds as 
well. And I quite like the whole bookshelf over the doorway that they went for. The wallpaper, well, that's a choice. Maybe not a good one. But I feel that overall, it does give a little bit of design inspiration too. And with that, we're at the end. That's an overview of the Book Nook kit. If you enjoyed or found this helpful, then please subscribe and leave a like. I would really appreciate it. And have an amazing day. See you later.